Hello, this is Sabrina with the Young's Daughters Funeral Home and Bereavement Center. This video is about cash advances. Cash advances are goods and services by third party companies that we secure on your behalf and pay them. So a big question is, why are cash advances not guaranteed? Because they're third party companies that we don't have any control over their pricing uh, as they uh, influx with their pricing. So we as the funeral homes can't guarantee their pricing to you. So what we do is they give us a list of their prices. We tell our families those prices and then secure those prices on the actual agreement. And then we pay them on your behalf. So who do we collect for? And who is considered to be a cash advance? Typically flowers that if you go to a florist and you pick out your own flowers, they will, you design them there. You pick out what you would like to match according to either the casket or the urn style or the clothing, or maybe you have a theme. And so they develop and design those flowers for you. They call the funeral home. And then they tell us exactly how much you had purchased your flowers for. The grave digger would be an expense of a cash advance monuments, including the death date, death date typically two different prices. Um, cemeteries sometimes have two fees as well. You'll purchase the plot if you haven't already prearranged for it. And then after the monument is placed, the death date will be on an additional expense. And maintenance fees, um, gate fees, the death certificate is filed and through um, the state. So we pay them their fees for you. Um, typically right now it's $21 for the first copy and four for every additional. Um, sometimes families like to purchase third party companies. Maybe they prefer their own hairstylist or their own nail tech. Um, then they would be expected to be paid for their services. The police escorts, we have an escort service that runs within Bell County. Um, and they have their fees. Um, cash advances sometimes can be tricky because like with escorts, um, they secure a portionment of what it might be expected, but if you run over a time frame or a scheduling conflict, um, say there the procession goes over a certain amount of cars according to their stipulations, you can be billed additionally after the service. So. It's not to do with the funeral home. It has to do with what that third party company and their requirements are. The funeral director should be knowledgeable enough to share those um, stipulations upon hiring that third party and what to expect with their services. So clergy and musicians and bands um, all expect to have a donation and we typically put that on the cash advance side of the contract. Bands and musicians are a little tricky too because they sometimes have split costs. The actual prelude and um, service information may be in, the, in our chapel or at your church. They would have a set fee there and then they have a separate fee at the graveside where they will play an additional two or three songs and postlude music there. Um, so we want to make sure that all of the expenses are presented to you and make sure that you're comfortable and you know where they're going to be playing. Halls and special send-offs like dove releases and balloon releases. What happens there is we secure your items for you. We will go and pick them up on your behalf and as long as they're paid for in advance or through our funeral home, then we'll go ahead and, and secure those and have those ready for you available at the graveside. So and depending on what you want to do for your service really depends on all of the additional pieces that we need to pay for. Uh, there's a misconception that funerals can be so expensive, but it's really on what and who we are partnering with to make sure your um, funeral is going to be healing enough for you. So we want to thank you so much for um, your support, supporting my family, um, helping yours. You can find more information about us at www.youngsdaughters.com. You can follow us for more tutorial videos at our YouTube channel. 
and you can definitely like, subscribe, share, do all of those fun things for us, and especially go to our Google reviews. We're trying to build up there. Please leave us a five star and a support of encouragement and how excited you are to see us come through Temple. So thank you so much for watching.